and welcome to Restoration Ministries. I'm Pastor Jeff uh, coming to you today from the backyard of my daughter in Estero, uh, Florida, her home and her, her husband, uh, three of the grandkids, uh, four of my other grandkids and uh, other daughter and son-in-law live about a quarter mile away. And so we're in, we're in their backyard. It's a beautiful time in December here. Uh, it's supposed to be 80 some degrees today. So I'm excited about that. So I wanted to come to you uh, with a message uh, I believe God gave me talking about being anchored in hope. You know, when we think about our situations that we find ourselves in, you know, sometimes we can be tossed to and fro and it's hard to find that firm place, that, that place of stability. And sometimes when we experience different things in life, different events in life, it can feel like we're just being buffeted, being tossed to and fro. And so it's just so important that in those times we don't lose hope. We don't get ourselves in a position where we become hopeless, but instead we find a place of security, a, a place that is firm to stand upon. And that place is in God. And so today I want to talk to you about Anchored in Hope. Turn to me, if you will, to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 13 and 12. It says this, hope delayed makes the heart sick but desire fulfilled is a tree of life. You know, this is something that is true in all of our lives. If we lose our hope, we become heartbroken. We become in a place of desperation. We can become, uh, you know, sometimes a victim of different things. And if we adopt this victim mentality, we can really set ourselves up for a place of failure in our lives, a place where we can't progress, a place where, you know, we, we just can't move forward. And so it's so important that we keep hope alive, that we do what we can, but we turn to our God to say, you know what, I don't want to find myself in this place of desperation. I don't want to find myself where my heart is sick. Instead, I want to, to connect to something that's firm, something that's solid, something that's dependable. And in that, I can place my hope. Turn with me, if you will, we're going to do three or four scriptures today, uh, to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 17 through 20. It says this, because God wanted to show his unchangeable purpose even more clearly to the heirs of the promise, he guaranteed it with an oath so that though that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, and we have fled our refuge that we might have strong encouragement to seize the hope that is set before us. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. Jesus has entered in there on our behalf as a forerunner because he has become a high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. There's a lot of prophetic words here that are talked about, but two that I want to really focus that when we're talking about being anchored in hope first of all we need to understand that what we anchor ourselves in needs to be stable and consistent what does the Bible tell us here it's impossible for God to lie so if we put our hope and trust in him we can count on his word to be true faithful dependable and, and unwavering you know we can't say that about anything else in our lives I don't think you know even though I try my best to be a good husband and I, certainly I, I've been faithful and all of those things and dependable and trustworthy I, that's my goal there are times when I fall short and I know that I've let Tracy down not by intention but just because I'm a human God is not, and he is not a God that he can or it's impossible for him to lie. And so if we want to anchor ourselves to something, it's important we anchor ourselves to something that we know is stable, consistent, and steady, unchangeable. The Bible says that God doesn't change yesterday, today, or forevermore. He was always the same. And so when he says it's impossible for him to lie, what does that mean for us? If we want to know where we can place our hope, that we dig into the Word of God. We look into the depths of what He has written in the Bible, and we latch on to those things that are stated as promises for us. And then we claim those promises. We hold fast to them, and we know that our hope can be put inside of them. So it's very important. And then it goes on to say that, that He is strong, that when we have when we flee for refuge, that we can have strong encouragement, that we can seize that hope. We have an encouragement in God to say, don't lose hope. 
Don't lose hope because I am there for you. I'm for you, not against you. I am fighting the battles for you. I am going ahead of you. I'm in front of you. I'm beside of you. I'm behind you. I'm all around you. I'm with you through that. And in that, we can find hope. If we know that there is an end to the situation we are currently facing, then we can know that God is with us in that. Yesterday in church, uh, my daughter was leading uh, in worship and they sang the song Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God with us. Because he is with us, we know that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And that he is stable to stand beside of us, to take us through our situations. And because of that, we can retain our hope. Even though what we see may be uh, different than what the promise is indicating in the word of God, we know that that promise is going to come true. Because why? Because God is a God that does not lie. So turn with me now to Jeremiah uh, chapter 17 verses 7 uh, through 8. So first of all I want to say that what we need to do to hang on to hope is make sure we're attaching ourselves to the right promise. You know we can attach ourselves to a lot of different things. There's all kinds of options that are out there. There's all kinds of things that some are good some are not so good, so good, some are deceptive, some have evil intention, many are not stable or, or uh, uh, have provide longevity, but with God, we can count on it, that he is firm, that he is secure. So it's super important that we attach ourselves, that we anchor ourselves to that which we know is stable. So let's read now Jeremiah 17, 7, 8. The person who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence indeed is in the Lord, is blessed. He will be like a tree planted by water. It sends its roots out towards a stream. It does not fear when heat comes, and its foliage remains. Uh, remains. So I want to just encourage you to look at this verse. He who trusts in the Lord has confidence in the Lord that he will be blessed. If we want to anchor our hope in something, we need to also be at a place where we attach it to something that's secure, but then also we need to put our trust in something that we know that we have faith. You know, one of the things that God has consistently shared with me and asked me the, this very simple question, Jeff, do you trust me? And usually those, those questions come in times where it's like, I feel uncertain. My situation is unstable, but he's bringing me back to him, that place where I can anchor myself. If I place my trust in him, if I lean not on my own understanding, but I connect securely to him, that he knows that he is working for me, that he's working for my good, that he's turning what the enemy intended for evil towards goodness in my life. And in that I can trust. And he's asking me that question. Are you going to walk in a space that is only uh, influenced by your environment and your situation and your circumstance? Are you going to put your trust in me? And that's what he's asking for. And when we're talking today about anchoring in hope, we attach ourselves to something firm. But when we do that, we trust that it's going to be stable, that it's going to be secure, that when the waves come, when the wind blows, and it's not that we're not going to be tossed a little bit in that, but if we're securely anchored, we know that we're not going to be swept out to sea. It's not going to be our ultimate demise. We are going to be fixed on something that is stable, regardless of the intensity of the storm that you face. Attach yourself. If you want to be anchored in hope, you want to keep hope alive, anchor yourself, attach yourself to God. Secondly, trust in him because he is trustworthy. The Bible says that he's faithful to a thousand generations. I want to then turn to Psalms 18, uh, uh, 1 through 2. It says, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock, where I seek refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. You know, all of these things, when we're talking about being anchored in hope, these are what David is describing, what the Bible, all throughout the Bible describes God's relationship like for us, is that in our situations that are unstable, in our situations that are weak, when our situations feel like we are being bombarded and attacked, we can look and say, God is my strength. God is my fortress. God is my shield. God is who takes me through my situation. It's him who is worthy to be anchored to. And that's really my third point is saying, you know what? We need to attach ourselves to something secure, which is God. We need to trust in him and know that he's faithful and believe. But the third piece is just that, is that believing, that 
that supreme confidence of having faith in God, having faith in him that he is our stronghold, he is our strength, he is our fortress, he is the one who we can anchor our hope in. And if we can do that, I believe that we'll walk in a space where our hope remains alive. My last scripture is Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. It says this, now, my, now may, ho may the hope of God Let's, let's start over. Now may the God of hope <laughs> fill you with all joy and peace as you believe so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, this is a consistent message with God. We're talking about being anchored in hope, but when we anchor ourselves in God, when we attach him, when we trust in him, when we believe by faith in him, we can know and we can have confidence that we will have a life that in the future is looking forward to a space of joy, a, pay, a place of peace. You know, this uh, is the Advent season. Actually, the first Sunday in Advent was yesterday, and that Sunday is a focus on hope. You know, and we need to understand in our walk, in our life, that we need to be anchored in hope. And if we do that, I believe the reward of doing that is we can walk in a place, even though we are in the shadow of the valley of death, even though we face a mountain that seems to be immovable, even though the situation and circumstance need, seems to be unbelievable, that we can walk through that if we keep our anchor of hope attached securely, trusting and having faith and believing. If we do that, we can have a situation that in those environments, we can still have joy. We can still have peace. The Bible says that we can have peace that passes understanding. I know many of you have experienced that in times of loss and times when you really should be in a place where your life is, is in chaos, but somehow God intervenes and he connects us and he gives us this place of peace in, within the storm. He, as Jesus did, when he was in his, you know, with his disciples on the boat, after he had ministered, he was asleep in the back of the boat. The storms came, the waves came, the disciples became distraught and were like, surely we're gonna die out here on this boat. They wake Jesus up and Jesus does one simple thing. He speaks to the storm and says, peace be still. It is that Jesus that brings that peace. It's that Jesus that brings the joy. The Bible says though that, that sorrow comes for a night, that joy comes in the morning. That peace and joy is available to you if we keep our hope anchored in him, anchored in God the Father, anchored in Jesus the Son, anchored in the Holy Spirit, the three in one. If we keep our focus, if we keep connected, if we make sure that we don't allow the enemy to steal our joy, to steal our peace, and most importantly, to steal our hope, to keep hope alive, we don't wanna have our hope be deferred. We don't wanna walk around in a position of defeat and despair and heartbrokenness, but we wanna walk in a way where we know that we are securely attached to something that is solid and firm, and that is God Almighty. That we trust in Him because He has proven Himself to be faithful and trustworthy. And we believe with all of our heart that there is something ahead of us, that the promises are about to be fulfilled in our life, that we will see those things come to pass, that we will experience God in a great way when we go on from this life into the life of eternal uh, love and peace with him if we have him within our heart. So I want to encourage you today, have your hope be anchored in God. Anchor your hope so that you don't lose it, so that you can have peace, that you can have joy. And in this Christmas season especially, let's not forget the reason for the season, and that is the coming of Jesus Christ, our salvation. In that, we can be confident and have hope. Let's keep that hope anchored in Him and go this week, won't you? And be blessed. Hey, Pastor Jeff here. Thanks for joining us to, uh, for today's message. You can connect to other messages on our YouTube channel at Restoration Ministries TN. Check out our Facebook page also, Restoration Ministries at RMCTN. We also have podcasts you can check out on Spotify. So have a great day.